The giant on Orion's shoulder one of the most breathtaking spectacles in the universe is the eventual supernova of Betelgeuse. This star has fascinated humans for thousands of years. It is one of the brightest jewels in the winter sky, resting proudly on Orion's shoulder. When you step outside on a clear night and look up, Betelgeuse is one of the first stars you notice. It glows with a fiery, reddish tint, very different from the cold white of most stars. This crimson color is not a coincidence. It is a warning sign. It tells us that Betelgeuse is in the late stages of its life. Unlike our sun, which burns steadily, Betelgeuse is unstable and unpredictable. It is a red supergiant, one of the largest types of stars in the universe. If Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and possibly even Jupiter. That means this single star is hundreds of millions of kilometers across. Its surface temperature is cooler than the sun's, which is why it appears red. But its sheer size more than makes up for the lower temperature. Betelgeuse shines with a brilliance tens of thousands of times greater than our sun. For centuries, people around the world have studied it, worshipped it, and wondered about it. Its name comes from Arabic, meaning, the giant's shoulder. In Chinese astronomy, it was known as the Emperor's Star. Greek myth placed it as part of Orion, the mighty hunter of the heavens. Across cultures, Betelgeuse has always been seen as special, bright, red, and unpredictable. In late 2019, the star shocked astronomers and casual stargazers alike. It began to dim dramatically. Its light, once among the brightest in the sky, faded to the point where even the naked eye could see the difference. The change was so unusual that newspapers and social media buzzed with speculation. Could this be the sign of its impending explosion? Was humanity about to witness a supernova in real time? Astronomers quickly focused their most powerful telescopes on Betelgeuse. They were eager to catch any clues of what might come next. Betelgeuse, also catalogued as Alpha Orionis, is Orion's second brightest star. Only Rigel, the brilliant blue star at Orion's foot, outshines it. Yet Betelgeuse captures far more attention because of its size and instability. This star is shedding material all the time. Every 10,000 years, it loses mass equivalent to our entire sun. That lost material forms a vast glowing cloud, stretching outward in every direction. Some of this material has already drifted far into space. Some remains nearby, creating a nebula tens of billions of kilometers wide. From Earth, this makes Betelgeuse appear to shimmer and flicker. Inside the star, violent forces are at work. In its youth, Betelgeuse fused hydrogen into helium in a steady, controlled process. But hydrogen fuel ran out long ago. Now, heavier elements are burning in rapid succession, helium into carbon, carbon into oxygen, and so on. Each stage happens faster than the last. The star is essentially racing toward its death. Eventually, iron will build up at its core. And unlike lighter elements, iron cannot release energy when fused. When that moment arrives, gravity will overwhelm everything. The core will collapse in a fraction of a second. The outer layers will crash inward, then rebound outward in a colossal blast. And the result will be a supernova, one of the most powerful explosions in the universe. Massive stars like Betelgeuse live fast and die young. Our sun is a modest star, still in its stable middle age. It has more than 5 billion years left to burn. But Betelgeuse, despite being only 10 million years old, is already near its end. Its life has been brief, but spectacular. Even ancient astronomers noticed its unusual behavior. The Greek scholar Ptolemy described its color as, ruddy. Chinese records suggest it once appeared yellow, meaning it may have shifted hue within human history. This is rare, and it shows just how unstable the star really is. Betelgeuse also pulses with cycles of brightness. Its outer layers expand and contract, making it brighter and dimmer every few years. But the 2019 dimming was something far more dramatic. By early 2020, its brightness had dropped to only one-third of normal. The world waited anxiously. Was this the beginning of the end? 
Astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope soon found the answer. Betelgeuse had experienced a massive surface eruption. A gigantic portion of its outer layers had been hurled into space. That material cooled and condensed into dust, which temporarily blocked the star's light from our view. It was not the end. But it was a warning of how violent and unstable Betelgeuse has become. The red supergiant continues to breathe in and out, shedding mass, flickering, and reminding us that its time is running out. The universe is holding its breath, awaiting the cosmic finale when Betelgeuse finally collapses, the spectacle will be beyond imagination. This single event will transform the night sky. From its distance of about 640 light years, the explosion will still blaze with astonishing brilliance. In an instant, it will rival the full moon in brightness. Some astronomers believe it could even be visible during the day, shining like a second sun. For weeks, perhaps even months, its glow will remain, fading slowly but majestically. And in those few moments, the star will release more energy than our sun will in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. But this supernova is more than just a spectacle of light. It will unleash a flood of neutrinos, tiny, nearly invisible particles that pass effortlessly through matter. It may also ripple space itself, creating gravitational waves that observatories can detect. For the first time, humanity will have the chance to study a nearby supernova with an entire arsenal of modern instruments. The James Webb Space Telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, ground-based giants like the Very Large Telescope and ALMA, and observatories such as LIGO, Virgo, and IceCube will all listen and watch. Each will capture a different piece of the puzzle. Together, they will allow scientists to study a star's death in extraordinary detail. Most supernovae we see are in distant galaxies, too far away for us to observe closely. But Betelgeuse is in our own Milky Way. That makes this event a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Astronomers will be able to track every stage, from the moment its core collapses, to the violent shockwave tearing through its layers, to the vast nebula expanding into space. These observations will help answer some of the deepest questions in astrophysics. How exactly do massive stars end their lives? What determines whether the remnant becomes a neutron star or collapses into a black hole? How are heavy elements like iron, gold, and uranium forged in the heart of the blast and then scattered through galaxies? Betelgeuse's death could hold the answers. And yet, the great mystery remains. No one knows when. It could be tomorrow. It could be in a hundred years. It could be in a hundred thousand years. Until that moment, Betelgeuse continues its restless cycle of flickering and pulsing. A cosmic clock counting down. A universal beacon, reminding us that even the mightiest stars cannot burn forever. When its time finally comes, the universe will put on a show like no other. A brilliant farewell. A final gift from one of the greatest stars in the night sky. And for humanity, an extraordinary chance to witness the death of a giant, and the birth of something